Do you have knowledge about Chengdu? Chengdu, the capital city of Sichuan Province in China, is often associated with pandas and hotpot. However, there is another distinctive feature of Chengdu: the late bow tea. This traditional tea culture has a rich history dating back to the Tang Dynasty and gained popularity during the Qing Dynasty. Legend has it that Lady Bo Tea was invented by Cui Ning, an official daughter from Chengdu. Recognizing that using traditional tea cups often results in burnt fingers, she made improvements which eventually lead to the development of Lady Bo Tea. This unique culture practice spread from Baoshu to surrounding areas and even throughout the southern region. The essence of Lady Bo Tea lies in its characteristic tea sets, drinking etiquette, and the performer's artistry. The complete set consists of three parts: an upper lid, a longer boat-shaped container known as a tea boat, and a bowl placed on top, called a sentai cup. Enjoying this beverage, one must hold the tea tree with their left hand while lifting the lid gently with their right hand to remove any floating leaves before sipping from the bowl held close to their mouth. There are also some special signals regarding the placement of the tea lid. The first one, placing the lid down against the saucer, indicates that the guest requires more water. In response. The waiter probably adds additional water to your cup. The second, putting a leaf on top of the tea lid, is typically done when the guest plans to briefly step away but intends to return for more tea. This gesture implies that it would be appreciated if the owner refrains from removing or clearing away their tea. Apart from using a leaf, other small objects like matches or stones can also be placed on top of the tea lid and signals. The third one is when the lid is facing outwards and leaning against the saucer. Back in ancient times, there used to be a lot of games around. If a member from another game was in trouble and needed help from someone in a local game, they would arrange the tea set like this. Once the bartender spotted this secret code, they would search for it in the tea house and introduce both parties to each other. The fourth is to put the tea lid up next to the table. This arrangement means you won't create it. If a friend is present and doesn't bring enough money, they will hint to the boss that the next time you come, you can avoid embarrassment. The tea house owner also knows that he will not break the point and surface for the guests. The last one is to put the tea lid upside down in the table. This placement is to tell the tea house owner that he is going to go after drinking and can clean up the table. Another fascinating aspect is the long mouth pot tea art show. The long mouth pot, when combined with mixed tea and water, offers great convenience to tea guests in bustling tea houses. This pot extends the service space. Allowing for quick service to customers while minimizing any disturbance. Today, this tradition continues to thrive and、uh, enriches the food culture of tea houses. As a result, it enhances the overall experience for tea enthusiasts and contributes to the flourishing business of tea drinking, planting, and selling. This evolution gradually elevates it from mere artistry to an art form that captivates with its vivid imagery and profound meaning. It provides people with not only visual pleasure but also a sense of tranquility that truly entertains and relaxes them while savoring their cup of tea. At the same time, the tea art performance of the Nan Mao's teapot not only conveys various cultural. Connotations through vivid imagines and beautiful body language, but also serves as an entertainment platform, allowing people to comfortably acquire knowledge in literature, art, religion, philosophy, morality, martial arts, history, geography, science, and more. This enriches their perspectives and ideas while showcasing exceptional artistic skills and conveying warm wishes to guests through their actions. 
This beauty serves as an emblematic representation of Chengdu's cultural heritage. It's my hope that more tourists will visit Chengdu to experience its diverse traditions and gain insights into Chinese culture firsthand. Welcome to Chengdu!